Here's the package that arrived. Let me open it up and see what's inside. We have three boxes inside. Each is sealed in plastic shrink wrap. Each of these has a different scent. Gotta love their slogan, a road trip, a life partner. <laughs> On the back of the box, it says car perfume, along with the instructions. And below that, we have the contents of the box and a sticker that shows the particular scent that is included inside. And here are some of the creative names. Dreamy Canterbury Bells. Then we have Ice Valley Cedar. And the last one is Aflatus. I'll be the first to say that I'm not an expert with car air fresheners or perfume in general, but I'll give this a go. First, I'll open up the box of Ice Valley Cedar. Inside, we have the dispenser on top held in soft foam. Below that, we have a box that holds the packets of scent sticks. This diffuser is an aluminum tube with a nice gray matte finish. There are four silicone O-rings, two on each side, that keep it from moving around on the car's vents. They measure three and a half inches by five sixteenths of an inch thick. There are 10 slots on the front and 10 slots on the back for the air freshener to go through the dispenser. One thing to note that the O-rings on the far end on each side of the dispenser are fairly easy to come off. So be careful or you may lose one. Inside this box that says car perfume are the four packets of scent sticks. Here's the description that the manufacturer lists. You can pause here if you wish to read this description. It's quite involved. To open, just rip along the little indentation on one end of the packet. This scent stick can then be removed. Pick up the dispenser canister, open one end of it, and then you can insert it inside. Then place the end cap back on. It's held in place by two silicone O-rings inside. Let me open the next box, which happens to be the Dreamy Canterbury Bells. Again, here is the manufacturer description page of the scent. All kits come with four scent sticks wrapped individually for best longevity. And now on to the third box. And this one is named Aflatus. And that's it for the unboxing. Let's go to the car and check them out. I'll first start on the driver's side. I placed mine directly in front of the steering wheel, but you could place it anywhere along the vent where the air flows through. Place the air freshener on the lower HVAC vent opening. It will sit on top. It is big enough so that it doesn't fall through. Looking through the steering wheel, you can hardly see the dispenser. It blends in well with the vent with a similar gray color. For more scent, aim the freshener so that the slots are facing up and out basically along the direction of the air that comes out of the vent. Now I'll place another on the passenger side, roughly in the center of the seating area on that side. Like I mentioned before, if you want to lower the amount of scent, rotate the diffuser so that the holes are facing the vent sides so that there's less air passing through the openings. Also note that the fan speed will affect how much you can smell of the fragrance. By the way, the scents are expected to last four to six weeks in the car, and I guess this depends on your current situation. For example, fan speed, humidity, etc. Honestly, I don't know if you definitely need two of these air fresheners. Maybe purchase one first and see how effective it is for you. In my use so far, two seem to provide a good enough coverage for the entire cabin. If I leave the car and return several hours later, I notice the scent, but it is not overpowering at all. Since the dispensers are sitting in the vent, in order to remove them, you just simply grab them and they lift right off. When it comes time to replace the scent cartridges, just remove the end caps and it should pop right out. Just give it a little shake. Put a new cartridge in and then just attach the end caps to both of the sides. I did an informal test with a few people, specifically my family members, and here are the results. The unanimous winner was Dreamy Canterbury Bells. It has a nice, fresh citrus scent. Next up was Aflatus, a nice floral scent. 
Ice Valley Cedar came in third place. One of the negatives is that it was a little too strong. So in conclusion, would I recommend it? Yes. I like the design, that it is compact and blends in well with the car's vents. The four silicone bands keep the dispenser from moving and also protect the surface of the vent. We like the dreamy Canterbury Bells scent the best, but like everything subjective, you may prefer the other scents. The price is pretty good compared to other car freshener solutions, especially one designed specifically for the Model 3 and Y.